Hello, welcome to another edition of Queso in the Morning. <laughs> Continuing the Project Euler series here, we got number 22, Name Scores. And it says, using names.txt, right click and save link target as. 46 kilobyte text file with over 5,000 first names begin by sorting it into alphabetical order. Then working out the alphabetical value for each name, multiply this value by its alphabetical position in the list to obtain a name score. For example, when the list is sorted, alphabetical order, colon, which is worth 3, 5, 3, 15, 12, 9, 14, according to the letters. Um, that added up is 53. It's also the 938th name in the list, so it's 938 times 53 to get a final name score of 49,714. What is the total score of all names in the file? Total of all the name scores in the file, rather. Well, here you go, but we got to code that up here. Got my handy dandy terminal and everything open got my emacs all right so for this one it'll be just because i didn't write i want to write everything out in um a character oriented manner for this problem we'll still have the standard io header we'll still be using the standard io header to be reading from a file this time and printing to standard out but we're also going to be using the string.h header just to make some things slightly easier because if you're copying a string to another string, you don't need to list out and run through all the characters in it. You can just do string copy. And we're also going to be using string compare in order to string compare in order to sort these in alphabetical order, which you'll see in a bit. Um, the only other thing we're going to define right here is a name length, which I'm going to do is 12 because some of the names are 11 long in this. I think one is like Providencia or something, and that's 10 or 11 long. So you want to give enough room to also hold. Um, a null byte at the end if you're going to put this into like a string array like I'm going to do. Um, we're just going to do our standard int main void here. And for the variables, we're going to have a character C that we're going to use to read from our file one character at a time. I'm going to be using a temporary name um, as big as name length to hold our name or our name score until we move it into our array that we're going to write. So in the array of names, I'm going to put names array, which is as big as name length. Or well, we got to hold all the names in the files. So I think overall there's like 5,162 names in the file, but to get a nice even number that's as big or larger than that, we're just going to go um, 5,200, make them as big as name length. So 5,200 sets of 12, you know. Hold names from file. Okay, and then I'm going to have a counter for the number of names we have, so we don't need to go all the way and we can stop early. I'm going to have i equals 0 and j for our loop indexes here. All right, let's put this over here. I'm going to have a loop array indices. That's not how you spell. Is that, is that how you spell indices? Multiple indexes? Something like that. Let's do number of names in file. All right. And then we're going to have, when we're sorting the names, I'm just going to do a simple, like, a Boolean pretty much, but I didn't want to include standard bool because I'm weird. So I'm going to have a sorted variable that says, hey, did we perform a sort and sort the list at all or not? And I'm going to keep going and sorting names until that is not true anymore. So, uh, did we perform a sort? Yes, no. Okay. And I'm going to have a temporary score to get the final name score for a, for a name. And I'm going to have our final score, our final answer, which I'll initialize to zero. All right. And then technically our other, well, not technically, our last uh, variable here is going to be the file pointer itself. So file star FP for standard file pointer. And we'll do F open. Um, our file, which I have on the side here, po22 underscore names dot text. We're going to open it for just, just for reading. We don't need anything else. The reading rainbow here. Open file for reading. All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do, uh, let me show you what the file looks like, actually. If we can po names. Cannot type this morning ever. So it looks like this. It's 5,000 names, one after another, um, inside double quotes and separated by commas. So we got like a comma delimited list here, sort of a CSV type file. And it goes down. The nice thing is you can tell if you sorted correctly somewhat if the last names are, you know, first, because Alonzo is an A and there's some 
there's some Z names in here, so that's a big indicator if you performed a sort or not. If these names are, you know, still in this order and something like this. But uh, that's what it looks like, so I'm going to parse this out by reading a character at a time. I'm going to add names to our names array when we get to a comma. And then we're going to try to ignore the double quotes. And if we're in between double quotes, we're going to add to a current name that we're working on. So it's probably there's probably an easier way to do this than reading character by character, but I have not done it at the moment, so this is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to read all read all the comma separated, comma delimited names. I'll put separated from file into list or an array. So we'll do while C is F gets C. I think you can still do get character. Um, or get C as long as you give the file pointer. I think it still works the same way, but I'm doing F get C here just to specify and show that, hey, I'm getting this from a file specifically, just to make that a little clearer. Um, but we'll say, while well, we're not at the end of file, we want to read the names. So I'm going to check if we're between a name first or if we're not between a name. So we have if we're between a name, and then we have... Um, if we're on a current name, but I don't want to include the double quotes. So let's do that. If between names, or we're going to do on current name, I suppose. All right. So if we're between names, assuming we'd added, we've added to our current array item, we're going to basically finish it off and make a um, end with a null value because if we're just adding character by character to our array we don't we haven't capped it off with the null at the end i don't think so that's why i made these also 12 instead of 11 to hold the longest name so i can end it with a null but that's what i'm gonna do here it may, it may have been easier if i just go with adding adding the name to the array first before doing this part but oh well <laughs> um why do I have an I here? Oh, because I'm using I for the array indices. All right. So if I use I for the index into the array, and we'll uh, we'll end it after it's done. But let's let's cap our thing off. If we're at the, if we're between names, we finish the current one. We need to end it with a null so that we have a you know a valid C string, and then we're going to reset I to zero uh, to count for the next the next characters in the next name, and then we're going to increase our name counter. So, assuming we've had yeah, this initialized to zero. This is holding the number names, and we're going to use that as an index into our names array. That's all I'm doing here. So, else we're on the current name, uh, our names array for a current number that we're on. Uh, I, which I started at zero, so we're good. Uh, equals our character, and then we're going to increment I. So this will add the current character we're on that is not a double quote and is not a comma, and it'll add it to our, our array for a current array item of num names, which starts at zero. I starts at zero, and it'll increment. So it'll keep going to get a full, you know, up to 10, 12, 10, 11 character name. Then when it reaches, it'll ignore the double quote after the name. And when it reaches the comma, it'll cap it off with a null byte. It'll reset I so that we go back into the first, um, first character of the next name after we, we increment our counter here. So that'll work to get all the names in the files. The only other thing we have to do is is this again. All right, we do have to end this again though. So, end last name from end of file with null. Since we ended at end of file, there is one final name in the file that we didn't end with a null, so I'm just ending it right here. Capping it off with the null right there. And then we're done with the file, so we can close it. Close file for cleanup. Close it when you're done with it, which is just to call the fclose, passing the file pointer. And there we go. So after we've done this, I'm going to sort the names into alphabetical order. After that, we'll, um, we'll tally up the score for everything. I'll do add up scores for each name to get final answer. We'll do that afterwards. But first, we're going to sort into alphabetical order. So I'm going to use our sorted variable up here. I'm just going to preset it to one and I'm going to say while it's one or, you know, another while true condition, right? We're going to keep sorting while it's one, but before we perform any sort, we'll set it to zero. So that if we perform a sort, we can set it to one and then re go through all this, go through all this again. So I'll use our index here for I equals zero. I less than num names. Cause we don't need to go past that amount. That's 
the highest number of names we're going to have to deal with in the file. Um, and here we're going to use string compare. So if we if we compare um, a name to the name after it in the list. So if we if we start and we have our, our array, our list contains like like Aaron, something with an A, Aaron, Allie, and then the next name is like Betty, um, then that's good. But if our next name, if our first name is Betty and then our second name is Aaron, then we want to switch them, right? Because A comes before B in the alphabet. So that's what this is going to do. We're going to be string compare kind of uses the, the ASCII values for the characters, like the ASCII integer values. I think it uses an unsigned character here in BSD, I'm pretty sure, but the ASCII integer values to the character. So, and they're all capital, so you don't have to worry about lowercase, but capital A in ASCII is a 65 and capital Z is, um, you know, 25 or 26 after that. So if you have a capital A and a capital B, that's comparing 25 to 26, you're good. But if you start with, you know, Betty, and then you go to Allie, capital B, is 26 capital a is 25 that's going to be a positive difference so if we compare these and there's a negative difference we're good but if there's a positive difference that means the name that we're on is kind of greater has a greater value than the name after it and we want to swap them we'll just do a simple swap move into our temp name and then move it back so if that makes more sense seeing it then i'll type it out here because <laughs> it probably does so basically we're comparing the name to the name after it in the list. And if we have a positive difference here, if that's greater than zero, then we want to swap the names. So that's all we're going to do. By swapping them, I'm going to use string copy as well. String copy, I'm going to move into our temporary name. I'm going to move I. Just a simple, a simple swap here. Then into into um, i plus one well into i i'm gonna move i plus one rather i'm gonna move i into temp i'm gonna move i plus one into i the next thing and then into i plus one i'm gonna move temp which was originally the previous the i the one before it in the list and this does a simple swap and there we go and then i'm gonna set sorted equal to one so once this happens, um, you know, it'll sort the rest of the names and it'll say, hey, you sorted something, we'll set it back to zero. We'll go back through the list because otherwise this would read through once and that might not necessarily get all the names in the right order. So we need to read through it multiple times until we got everything right. All right, so after we've done this, we want to get the score for the names and sort of a similar process that string compare uses. We want to use the ASCII values, but I wrote this out a little bit more to um to emphasize what i'm doing so we're using uh, basically ascii int values to get this i think so we're going to subtract subtract um letter in name from a which i believe is 65 but if i'm wrong don't kill me i think it's 65 and add one to it to get alphabetic score so that's what we're going to do here, and then we'll multiply it by the position in the list to get the final score. So if we go back through um, our names here, we're going less than and equal for this one because we want to include the final one. And the one up here where we're comparing, we don't need to go to num names because if we go to that number, then this um, I plus one does not exist in our array and that'll be, you know, undefined behavior. We'll have garbage values there. We don't want to do that. But this one, we do want to include the last item in the array. So that's why I'm in doing less than or equal for this one. I want to go through all the names in the list. Uh, I'm going to get a score for each one. And we're going to have for J equals zero, J less than name length to go through the name. All right. We say if we are not at the end of the name. So if names array ij is not equal to null, if we're not at the end of the name that we capped off with null here, um, then our temp score we want to add to it. We want to add the ASCII value for the name. So we're going to have names array ij subtract it from a that i put there minus a so if our name starts with a capital a this will be zero 
Um, but according to the problem here, they're doing positive. So see, Colin starts at three, A, B, C, uh, C minus A would be, so it'd be two. Then we have to add another one at the end to get the right value. So if A is 65, B is 66, C is 67, we can subtract A from that, 67 minus 65, to get two, and we can add one to it to get the alphabetical score according to how they're doing. They're doing one based, not zero based. Uh, looks like... So we subtract it from A and we add one. Simple enough. All right, so let's do else. We don't really have to do much, but I'm gonna write it here. I'm gonna write break. We can end early. End early, reached, end of name. So if we do an else, then it is a null, we've ended. So we don't really need to worry about that. And that adds to the temporary score. So after we've gone through the whole name and we got the temp score for it, we can add it to the final score. So final score plus equals um, our temp score. And we want to multiply this by its position in the list, which is also one base. So I plus one. And then that's what we do. If Colin is 938, the name we just read was 938. We want to do I plus one because our position in the array will be 937. So we want to add one to it to get the, the actual position in the list according to how uh, this problem is doing it. So multiply by position in list. All right. And then what I'm going to do, we'll make this slow down a little bit, but just for checking, for some basic checks here, I can print out the name and the score that we got. So name, percent S for string, and then score for that name, percent D, because it'll be an integer, new line it. Um, we'll do names array I, yeah, and temp score times I plus one to get its actual position that we're multiplying to get in the list. All right, and then after all this, we'll have the final score, so I'll print that out here. Print out final score, print F again, give it its own line, final. Score. We only need a regular integer for this, which is nice. All right, and that should be all that we need for this problem. 70 lines, not too long. Of course, I probably typed something wrong, as you all know very well. And I did not. So let's see if we get the right answer here. Oh, those all look sorted. If you can read it as it's going by, we're ending on Zolma. So this looks right. Our final score, 87119828282, which is correct. 87119828282, so we're good. We're good on there. Forgot this one, I did not uh, do the same thing here. Dark reader so you don't go blind and then zoom in a bunch. Sorry if that was hard to read, but here we go, 87119828282. And that is how you do it. It's not too bad, we're just reading basic, basic parsing from a file. If it's not a double quote or a null, or well, it's a, if it's not a double quote or a comma, we add to the current array item, end it with a null. We go through and get the, um, we compare them to put them in alphabetical order. We use string compare and string copy. Move it with a temporary variable to swap them. And then we add them all up according to their ASCII int values, position in the alphabet, and then position in the list here by multiplying by I plus one. So that's all you need to do for this. Pretty simple, 70 lines. You could probably simplify it a little bit more even. Um, I'll leave that as an exercise too if the viewer, ha. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the next time we will do number 23, non-abundant sums. So a little bit more mathy, I guess. <laughs> As if all of these aren't mathy. But yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.